Well, the guys at Night Models are fanatical about miniatures and tabletop games and the opportunity to bring their expertise and passion to Harry Potter is just too good to be true. Um, couldn't pass that up. And not only that, but it's such a rich universe, an expansive universe with so many much-loved characters. And I think we're the perfect team for the job. Well, firstly, you get to collect, paint and play with some beautiful uh, resin miniatures based on those iconic characters from the Harry Potter cinematic saga. You get to play with those miniatures across amazing game boards, uh, which represent those great scenes like the Chamber of Secrets or the Hogwarts Bridge. Um, and finally, it's uh, unlike other board games, it's a really freeform, uh, tactically diverse game where you get to make your own group of witches and wizards, play with them however you want, equip them however you want, and formulate your own strategies. For me, the miniatures are the best parts of this hobby. Um, and these are just some of the most finely detailed resin figures that a collector could possibly dream of. Um, you can play with them straight out of the box. Um, just put them on their bases and play a game. Um, but a lot of people uh, like me will want to uh, paint them um, as well as they possibly can, uh, display them when they aren't playing with them, um, and essentially have a great collection of Harry Potter figures. There are two main factions in the game, good and evil, as you'd expect, and then you also have fantastic beasts, um, those kind of terrifying monsters that are kind of neutral in the game. Um, within the good and evil faction, there are smaller groups, and you can theme your group however you like. You might decide you want all of your good guys to be from Gryffindor. You might decide all of your bad guys from Slytherin. That's entirely up to you. Uh, as you might expect, Voldemort is one of the most powerful wizards in the game. Um, he is the best at casting spells, maybe next to Dumbledore. Um, but he is really aggressive, really powerful. He is great at taking enemies out of action, but he can be countered um, often quite easily by teams of, um, you, you might say, weaker wizards, but people with different abilities, like Madame Pumphrey wants to, can, can heal her, her allies and keep them in the game for longer. Um, whereas Hermione might be great at solving challenges and can outsmart Voldemort. There are always ways to counter the really powerful wizards. Uh, usually you choose a group of models, but you can start with one um, and kind of work your way to your larger games. The way, the way it's limited is by uh, galleons, which fans will know is kind of a gold coin in the, in the, in the movies. Um, you have a, a galleons limit, so maybe you have 50 galleons and you spend those on a group of wizards, um, each of which is worth a number of galleons. Um, you also buy your um, items, your potions, your spells, all worth galleons. So, Players are choosing a group to the same uh, galleon's limit, um, and you can really have as many as you like. Uh, the game is really simple to learn, and anyone who's plays a board game at all will pick it up in, in minutes, um, but it's so difficult to master. And I think that's the, the great fun, is in formulating new tactics and strategies. Uh, you get to try out um, so many different combinations of witches and wizards, um, all the different potions and spells that you can choose, and every time you change the composition of your group, um, you change the strengths and weaknesses, and you change the challenge for your opponent. Um, it's just a great, diverse game. Um, the objective of the game um, really depends on the scenarios that you're playing. Um, so while some wizards excel at kind of destroying their enemies, like Voldemort, for example, that's really not what the game is all about. The game really is objective-driven. You want to solve those challenges, you want to find the room of requirement, or um, find the sort of Gryffindor. Um, and to do that, you need to use uh, teamwork and great strategy. Uh, the very first step in the game is to choose your group. Kind of, as we've hinted at before, um, you get to choose um, your own group of witches and wizards from your chosen faction, either heroes or villains. Um, and you get to equip them any way you like, using artifacts, using potions, using spells. Um, once you've done that, um, you choose your scenario. Um, there's a whole range of scenarios in the book, um, with more to come. Um, and once you choose your scenario, you work out your objectives, which is, you know, do, do I go to find a sword of Gryffindor? Do I try to defeat the troll in the dungeon? Um, once you start playing, models take it in turns to activate. And when they activate, they can do anything from drink a potion or cast a spell or a attack someone in close combat. Um, or, most importantly of all, um, solve a challenge, which is kind of, kind of a puzzle. Uh, the game board is divided into uh, square spaces, and most models can move only three spaces. Uh, some can move faster, some can fly, perhaps on broomsticks, for example. Um, some of them are hindered by difficult terrain, which is, you know, like the Forbidden Forest, for example. Um, others can ignore things like that completely. Um, 
But generally speaking, you move around, you outmaneuver your opponents, and you reach those all important objectives. Uh, there are a number of introductory adventures in the game, um, which kind of teach you the rules um, on a step by step basis. Um, and then we have uh, an adventures book, which will have far more scenarios for you to play, um, and there'll be far more to come. The scenarios can be played many, many times, and they're different every time. That's one of the joys of this game. Um, every time you play a scenario, you can play it with a different group, which completely changes the way it works for both you and your opponent. Um, you can choose uh, a number of event cards, um, which kind of modify the objectives of the scenario. Um, and each player has a pool of quest cards, which are personal objectives, and they change every single time, every single round in, in, in many respects. Um, so every time you play, the scenarios are different. Uh, players have pretty much total freedom um, to choose whatever group they like and put them whichever scenarios they like. So you can fight the Battle of Hogwarts with any characters uh, in your collection. Um, and in fact, the guys at Night Models are working really hard at the moment on a top secret campaign mode, uh, which will allow you to take your same group of witches and wizards from whatever you like, maybe Slytherin, and take them on the entire adventure through all of the scenarios, um, putting them in situations where they you might think they'd never be. I think for the fans, this is a great opportunity for them. They've been waiting for a long time to find a new way to immerse themselves into the Harry Potter universe uh, and the wizarding world, and this really is it. Um, I think this is gonna be a great journey for all of us, um, with a lot of challenges ahead, and just a great game for everyone.